today I am going to be showing you how to make a scrolling map engine. So I'm just going to name this project Scrolling Map, map Engine Tutorial. Oops, sorry. Tutor tutorial. Oops, sorry. All right. This this will have some glitches, so if you are experienced with this type of coding, um, tell me if there is any glitches and you know how to fix them. So first, we're going to create the character. So we're just going to name this player. And we're going to t use the circle tool and set this outline to maybe like 20, then set this to maybe a white. All right, so now... We are going to to make a perfect circle. You have to press shift while doing it. And then you go to the line tool. Let me zoom in. You have to go to the line tool and then to make the arms like this. And then I can, can, can copy that and put the other arm here. So let me just quickly move it a little. And almost there. All right, this should work for now. Oops, sorry. Like this. All right, that should work. Uh, let's make it a little smaller. All right, now we're going to use the select tool, drag it over all of this, and click shift to get a good, like this. And now center it. In the body, you don't want your your character to look like it's not exactly spinning around in a perfect circle. So now we are going to go to when flag clicked, a forever, and point towards mouse pointer. So if you're new to Scratch, this will actually look cool and it will point toward the mouse pointer no matter where the mouse pointer is, even when it's in the blank space. So, now we are going to do the, this for a future head of time in this video. So we're going to do a one flag click forever, if touching color white, the white so we can do this actually, just make it official. And then we're gonna do, just gonna use the, the normal one, the message one that's already in there. And we're going to make a new sprite. This is the map. So one thing I should tell you about is that you cannot make this big. You actually have to make it small and I'll show you why later. So first we are going to make the map. So we're gonna make this a gray color. So let me set the outline to zero and set the map to probably gray. All right, so I'm gonna make a big room in here and maybe one hallway here, maybe a tiny hallway here, maybe one here and then one here and then one here. All right, that's a decent map. Let me make one big room here. All right, so there is our map. Make sure all of, they, all of them connect. If they don't, then it will not, then you cannot get into some rooms and you'll just fly into the void. So make sure you've centered it. And now we're, now this will not work. Scratch has made it so that it has a certain amount of size, but you can hack through it. So we can just do a one flag clicked, um, set size to like a thousand, but Oh, yeah, I forgot. So you have to go to the player and set the the it to the front layer. Otherwise, it'll be behind the map it'll, or in scratch terms. And see, it's actually kind of small still. You can, you can barely fit in that part right there. So what we have to do, there's actually a hack. You have to create another costume, put this here. I should have done this ahead of time, so I'm just going to name this map and I'm just gonna name this sizer because it actually makes it actually the correct size so we're gonna go to the circle tool use shift just make a tiny circle in the center oh well that's not tiny but and then what we're gonna do is 
switch costume under the what above the set size we're gonna do set switch costume to sizer then under we're gonna do a switch costume to map so now it is actually a good amount of size so we can drag it around oops sorry yeah that's also a problem but now we have to now to make you the player move actually is to set uh, set the, so now we're going to, actually, okay, so we're going to go to a when flag clicked, go to x0, y0, because we don't want the game to start wherever the previous person was at, so x0, y0, and then go to set rotation style to don't rotate, but it will continue the direction, but it just won't actually rotate, so now, we have to go to forever and I'm just going to use the WASD keys so if then if keep space pressed and I'm just going to set this to W copy this copy this all right now gonna do S A up here and then D. Usually when you do the up arrow key it would the map would go up but instead to make it actually look like it's scrolling we have to make it go down so the Y would have to be a uh, negative so if key W pressed change Y by minus 10 and if key S is pressed change Y by 10. Actually, I'm just going to set these to 5. And now for the A and D, usually the A would make the X go negative, but this time it's going to go positive. So A is going to be a 5, and the other one is going, the D is going to be negative 5. Negative 5, and there we go. So now remember this part I was talking about? Now this is where it comes hand handy. So I'm gonna do a um, when I receive message one, move minus thirty steps. Move minus thirty steps. Oops, not thirty steps. Minus thirty steps. So now we have a fully working scrolling map. So let's see, see, and then oh yeah, and sometimes it glitches and sends you across the map, but otherwise. It actually works, and uh, you can move around, and the scrolling works. Yeah, so if you touch the wall right there, it might just send you flying like this. Yeah, but otherwise, the thing actually properly works. Yeah, that's also a glitch. I told you there might be some glitches, but it actually is great for a basic type of map. So, yeah, that's all for today. Um... If you can upgrade it if you'd like, you can add like enemies and stuff, maybe find a way to fix the glitch. But that's all for today. Bye. Peace out.